Get ready. You're ready. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today's comment shout out goes to Rochelle Pele. She said, Yo, God is good. He definitely is. I remember like a hot minute ago, I used to watch you with under a thousand followers and now almost 5k. Encouragement to keep pushing at your lowest because the only place you're going is higher. Thank you so much, Rochelle, for your very sweet comment. If you would like a shout out in my next video make sure to leave a comment on this one today is monday and i feel like i always say that today is monday i have a very exciting campaign well it's a real it's a post it's one post it's not a whole campaign for a brand that i can't tell you just yet because you have to wait and see but i'll be posting on the first of october so make sure that you are following me on instagram to see who this brand is and a hint is oh a hint, I think you must go down Left or right? Or straight ahead? E go down here Anyway, like I was saying uh, A hint of this brand is In the beginning of the year I really wanted to get one of these things And get one and get one And then I eventually did get one So I'm very excited It is like a home type of content piece I'm very excited I'm also slightly, slightly, slightly slower slightly intimidated by the type of content people create for this brand because my camera does not cannot focus and like defocus the way those cameras do but god gave me creativity and we're gonna make this rock so we went to fetch whatever we needed to for that content today good morning oh the kitchen is dirty this morning has been so chaotic we went to the gym so excited to do arms because we really did an amazing workout yesterday and then like not even 15 minutes in we had to come back home because uh, just chaos anyway i went to fetch something from a follower who owns a business called buzzing balloons and i want to show you guys what i got i'm very excited very 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 excited am i in focus i'm going to do an unboxing on instagram quickly and then i am going to show you what i got everyone get ready you're ready Wow, that was very dramatic. <laughs> What's this, guys? What's this? Play with the What's this, guys? What's this, Enzo? What's going on? What's going on, guys? <laughs> no, not the pen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yay! He's gonna pop it. He's gonna be in his bed. <laughs> Go get a balloon. Get a balloon. So after that balloon intermission with Ollie, this bag is so cute. I love the pastels. Love it. We've got some sanitizer. There was also a pen. Oh, here's the pen. The Capricorn pen. We've got hand cream. A candle that smells amazing. And cookies from Trader Joe's. I don't even know where we can get this. I need to ask her where she got this from because this is a vibe. I love the boys. Good boy. No. Oh. Having issues <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> Kardashians and cooking. So today we are making Vindaloo pasta with mince. I have Trevino's pasta in there. Why is my camera doing this? Trevino's pasta in there. I cut up some brinjal for me as a snack and just roasted it. Then I've got his mince in here browning. Mine browning in here. Then I'm going to put some ginger and garlic. I also have this can of pasta sauce and then vindaloo spice with some onions i chopped up some kale for mine just to add a little bit more veggies and then i will have this with my cauliflower pasta that i still have left over from next week i mean from last week from next week wow This is what Chirinos looks like. I just want the pasta to cook a little bit more and you can top it with cheese. And then this is mine, which I am going to measure out my noodles now and put that in there. Honestly, 
I don't know where that was going. But counting calories will really make you very creative, especially if your spouse is not counting calories or calorie conscious. So Trevino will just eat whatever. I try to make it as healthy as possible. We don't need to go shopping and get more veggies. So I just used, there was like two leaves of kale left, two like long leaves, so I used that in mine. And the food actually looks good. It's very low calorie. I have not hit my calorie goal for the day. So I'm probably after supper gonna have two rice cakes with egg and mayo on top, I don't know. But that's my problem, like I don't hit my calorie goals or I don't hit my protein goals for the day. I don't know. When I buy more veggies, then I'll be able to at least do my green juices again and my glasses are green now. This is not a favorable angle, but it has to do for now. Last night, Trevino's cousins, a few of them, like four of them, stayed over at our house on a random Tuesday. I absolutely love that for us. We made a Christmas bed, we watched 30 minutes of a movie and then we slept. So now everyone is getting ready because Torino's parents are taking the kids out and us, because also kids, for breakfast. I don't know what I'm going to have. Like, I have my treatment today with Dr. Nedich for my tummy. So my tummy is already going to be... And I'm just... Uh, I'm so disappointed. She gave me this whole list of um, blood tests you can see it that I need to do but our medical aid is finished and it's costing like over three grand to do these tests because from those tests you'll be able to see if I have an, uh, a problem with insulin or if I have other underlying causes that's causing underlying symptoms or something that's causing me to not lose weight so I know that I'm not going to have the full experience that I desire because 3,000 is a lot to spend right now on blood tests so we cannot do that at this time, which is frustrating, but I am still um, counting calories. I'm still going to the gym. So at least I am doing what I can do to feel better about my body. Hello to the vlog. <laughs> um, I still don't know what I want to eat. They have like, Vegan friendly stuff here. Yeah, oh, that's cool. It's probably new. Yeah, but it's well. it's burgers. I'm not gonna have a burger for breakfast. Nice. Sizzling starters. That's not what I wanted. Where's the breakfast here? Yeah, breakfast menu. I wish they did like like sauteed spinach the way my bean does. It's not Tasha's. It's fun. I know, but I'm trying. As long as I try hard enough during the week, I know that I'm okay. Because on the weekends, I don't. I think I try hard enough. Who's left to still bark? Which house should still use? The black one that you guys used yesterday. Oh, okay. I gave you two black house. Thank you. Yeah. Who still needs to have a bark? Uh, just me. Okay. I'm not even going to take my mask off because I'm going to look 10 times worse than what I currently look like. Today has been a very frantic day and I don't like it. I don't like this. I did my nails. How amazing do they look? Wait. Hold on. There we go. How cute do they look? So I did my nails. It took us three and a half hours. Then Trevino and I went grocery shopping. Um... The lines were so long, so freaking long. We didn't get everything we needed, but at least we got something, so that's okay. Then today, which is Thursday, until Sunday, three of Trevino's cousins are coming to stay with us. So we need to do something exciting for the kids, because if it were up to us, we'd just be at home all weekend. So we need to do some stuff for the kids. And I'm going to be making chicken biryani when I get home. It's something to three now. I can't believe this day. I left the house at half past eight and I haven't been home as yet. I really need to pee very badly. I'm hungry. It's a lot. Anyway, I really don't know where this vlog is going to go for the rest of the week. 
because like i said things have just been quite hectic today and then from this afternoon we're gonna have people in our house so i don't know if i'm actually gonna vlog chicken is marinated i need to make salad but i want to go shower quickly first look at that look at that biryani mm -mm -mm. Hello. Hello, hello hello i had a whole outfit plan with like a black crop top and biker shorts and then like a white button-up tied in front but it makes me look like i'm in school and like i'm in the baby one more time video so i'm not feeling that at all so i don't know what i'm gonna wear it's nothing fancy but i really wanted to get content but i'm just not happy with that outfit so i don't know we're going for sakwa not to anywhere fancy literally just to like um rocko mama so it's not anywhere fancy but i need to get content so I, that is my problem with life I'm gonna do like a little bit of a dewy type of look, hopefully, using my Maybelline in the color 61, which is warm bronze. Before I do that though, this is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer in the shade 45, and I'm just gonna put that over my pimples because there's a lot. Are you yeah. allowed to come in? Yeah, you can. Yeah, but this outfit doesn't look nice. What? That I picked. I don't know, it looks like I'm I'm nice feel, I just feel like with this weather, a long sleeve is not a good idea. I'm so gonna wear my, wear my Mickey shirt. No, not this one, the other grey one from Cotton On. Okay. And Vintage maybe your shoes, yeah. Okay. I didn't Which need to get content, nice? yeah. Okay. I needed to get content though. It's fine. Just do yeah, make up on point, that's it. Oh. Is it just me or do any other girls feel not? Like, it's not my style to wear sneakers and shorts and have my hair up. It's not my style. My hair always has to be down. I feel like because I'm so tall and so broad, I always need to have something feminine. Like, either my hair down or clavage or something. I don't know. It's very weird. But it is what it is. I want to try something with my eyeshadow today. I saw it on TikTok. Basically, it's smoky eyeliner, but done with eyeshadow. So you need to take like a card and put it here and then just smoke out your shadow. I'm just going to put color all over my lid if I can get my brush out. And obviously it's rough from the Born to Run palette. This is my favorite palette of life. So I'm just going to put a color on my shadow. Does the color on my shadow a color on my lid? Okay. A color under my lid. Maybe I'll do red lips. I think that would be the vibe. Okay, now I need to find like a card. I've got my vaccination card. I've got this. Maybe I should use this. Do I have anything else? Oh, I'm gonna use this. The Switch Beauty thing. And do I have a brush that's floofy? I've got this brush. I need to go buy. This morning when I was watering the garden, I was thinking that I need to go buy um, lashes. Okay, I'm using the color good as gone. Let's see if this is gonna work. Whoa, whoa, that looks cute. Now I'm going to take a very skinny brush, if I can get it. Can't even see that. This is definitely a paint brush, but it's fine. And I'm just gonna go on the lash line. Okay, that is my eyeshadow done. I actually get ready really really quickly. I know some girls take like two three hours telling me at this. I think the longest that I've ever taken to get ready other than my wedding day was probably ultra. But obviously this is like the rushed um wrong mascara. The rushed makeup because usually I would um like do my eyebrows like shape them and prep my skin contour and highlight underneath and just do good lasting makeup but I'm literally going out for a few hours having supper coming back home so 
it's not that big of a deal. Also, happy Heritage Day. I forgot to say that. Yo, this mascara is something else. Something else. I don't think I'm gonna take content today. I'm not even feeling this eyeshadow anymore. Welcome to my life. Welcome to my confused life. I still, I need, so I need a new photo to post on Sunday. So depends on what I wear for church. I might um, have new content on Sunday. Oh guys, you know, it's so funny having like only teenagers in the house because they are so into TikTok. Literally every, like every half an hour, they singing a new TikTok song. And it's, it's annoying because it's stuck in their heads. So it's stuck in everyone's head. So today we've already heard berries and cream. We've heard, um, I can't even remember now. I've learned to close my ears. <laughs> But it's like they're saying the same things over and over and over and over and over and over again. And it's driving me a little bit mad. I feel like they have taken my, and by they I mean Trevino, has taken my hairspray out of this room. So I need to go to our bathroom and finish up my hair. But I will be back and show you guys the full hair, the full foot, the lips on and everything else when I am done. Okay, I'm still getting ready. But does this bag go? Obviously not with these shoes, or should I use this bag? I think I'm feeling the black one a little bit more. I think it's a little bit more edgy for this outfit. And then I still don't know if I'm gonna use my Pumas or Trevino's Air Forces. I'm not sure. The shirt is also a little bit creased at the back, but who cares? I am not so phased by the lips, I don't know. Maybe it's because I haven't seen myself with red lips in a long time, but I'm not vibing with it. Everyone else is vibing with my outfit except me. Bye. Oh my gosh, my elbow just went to my salad. I need to take all these cheeses off. Hello. While the house is quiet, I just want to vlog a little bit. Last night was so much fun. After Rocco Mama's, we went to play pool and I don't know how to play pool, okay? I know more or less what to do, but like, I'm not like a pool player. So anyway, yesterday I literally got three balls in, one after the other, and won the game. I, I couldn't believe it. I wish someone could have filmed it or that. You know, I just got that moment on camera. It was so epic. I was so impressed with myself. And then we came home and chilled, watched a movie, ate again. And today we took the kids to uh, have pizza for lunch. Then we came home. I fell asleep on the couch while Trevino was watching... Um, the Man United match, and I woke up as soon as I saw the penalty kick, I think that's what it's called, and United didn't win, so I was also annoyed even though I didn't watch the match. And now I'm making roast chicken, the kids are down at the pool, so I've got veggies in the oven, I've just put olive oil and salt and pepper on it, I've got my chicken just boiling a little bit on the stove, potatoes boiling for stuffing, and then I'm going to make... I've made a marinade already. I've just put like a whole bunch of sauces and spices in it. And I also had some sour milk left over from when I made biryani on Thursday night. So I'm going to add all of that on top of the chicken and put that in the oven. And then tomorrow morning, Trevino and I are going to church. And then I think their parents are coming to fetch them maybe around lunchtime. I'm not sure what time they leave in case it in. And then on Tuesday, wow, well, I was going to say Thursday, then Tuesday. On Monday, we are doing lunch with friends at a restaurant. First, we're going to the dog park. Then we're going to a restaurant. And then we are going to come home and have dessert and coffee and stuff. So that is the plan for the rest of this long weekend. Oh, Trevino did take Monday off, so this video will go up on Tuesday. Obviously, it's Tuesday that you guys should be watching this. I'm going to go take a walk down to the pool area just while the stuff is not in, the, in the stove in the oven and on the stove and then see what they are up to because they also took Ollie down and then when I finish filming I mean wow I cannot talk because I'm looking these people opposite our house have a really nice white like umbrella thing in their garden and I want one Hey guys, it's so hot today, it's 31 degrees, it's very hot. Trevino and I went, so the first service this morning was so great, like we've been going to second service because 
for first service we have to leave home early so we have to wake up at six to go to first service because there's only a limited seating available obviously because of rona but we went to first service today and it was so amazing it felt like pre-covid days because of the amount of people that were there for first service and it just felt good second service is generally smaller even before corona so now with the restriction second service is even smaller but it was just so amazing nothing beats being in church first service on a sunday morning nothing it was such a great feeling we also met up with our old um, group leaders we still look up to them a lot we respect them a lot they are elders in our lives in terms of our spiritual lives so that was great and then we came home we took the kids for ice cream and we played some nine cards a little bit and then we cleaned up the house a little bit i've got a load in the dishwasher and i just finished putting some clothes and towels and stuff like that on the line i usually do all of that on monday but it's just the clothes and towels are piling up so i just did that it's very very hot and also someone from our complex one of trevino's friends brought us uh, two sprigs of mint and like one big thing of thyme so we planted that also and showed ollie so in hopes that he won't go dig it out of the boxes so we're gonna hopefully see some mint and thyme bush happening in our yard soon and then now we're going to Trevino's parents the kids are going to spend time with their auntie and uncle and then hopefully Trevino and I can leave them there for a little while and spend some time before the week um, the weekend ends and tonight we're going to be watching Transformation Church we started watching the new series called Crazier Faith so we're going to start with that tonight and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. We have gym cleaning and then we have lunch with friends. Hello, I am gonna end the vlog here. I'm very pink, feeling very Barbie. Um, we're gonna go for lunch with our friends now, go to the dog park, and I need to edit this video so that you guys can see it on tomorrow, which is Tuesday. So if you enjoyed this vlog, it was very random, I know, and I'm sure it was all over the place. But if you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, to comment, to share. And see you guys next week for a new video. Bye, Cella Bellas. That was a weird kiss. Bye, Cella Bellas.